All right, and this is where I'm staying. Adrian Hausstrat. And this is a brand new Feetstrat. It was just paved. You can see the paver stones over here that they have uh, laid down in the walkway area. But uh, yeah, this is great. The barricades uh, pretty much have come down in the last day or two. And uh, it's been neat to see folks uh, riding on it. It's not completely open yet, but uh, folks are definitely taking advantage. Nice smooth red asphalt. You can see the, the pavers on the side street there. Very, very cool. Pavers, a little bit narrower area here. The vibrations are a little rough on the bike, but they're also send that signal to the drivers to slow down. And again, we're back on the, uh, the feet strut here, newly paved. Thought we'd uh, come up and check out this uh, little roundabout up here. And obviously that motor scooter was not doing it right. Now we're on a typical edge lane road. I see a lot of these in this neighborhood. Okay, heading back the other way on this uh, edge lane road. And we'll reconnect to the fresh pavement of the feet strut at the roundabout. And this roundabout that you'll see uh, us coming up through here, good example of, it's a good example of just a slow speed roundabout shared space in the context of all of this shared space. So it's not uncommon. Again, the uh, speed limit in these areas are typically going to be in the 30 kilometer range. So right around 17 miles per hour, which is pretty comfortable when the drivers drive that. <laughs> when they drive the proper speed, yes, it's very comfortable and they're not aggressive. see some of the areas that have not yet had the pavers put in. And we transition back onto another edge lane road. Yeah, 
And here's a good idea of the construction that is happening right outside of my unit. You can see the stacks of the new paver stones. And then this is what it'll look like once the uh, sidewalk area is repaved. You can see the transition zone with the bricks and then the brand new red asphalt heat strut. That's the new treatment for this uh, neck of the woods where I'm staying in Delft. And you can also get a sense as to a little bit of greenery that's here. Looks like there's gonna be a little space here to be able to plant. Many of the units have little uh, trees and pots here. And you can see this little feature here, a parking spot and another planting area here, as well as planting areas right along the area here. You can see some units have already gone in and replanted. Very nice. And it's pretty steady traffic, you know, coming down through this area. Many of the kids have uh, field hockey sticks, so looks like there's probably a recreational area in the park right up ahead. And it's again, it's really cool to see just comfortable areas uh, through here, residential areas, being able to get through. Nice roundabout area here. And <laughs> a couple tweens are just hanging out at a bench at the roundabout. Why not? Taking a look at the uh, pavers right in front of my unit, this is November 2nd, and the, the next morning, November 3rd, looking uh, down on it from uh, my unit. And then uh, you can see the, the pieces starting to really fall into place. This is November 4th, look in the distance, and you see the bus stop is still not done. Uh, but then two days later, boom, it's it's getting really, really close. They've got the, the pavers in place over there. You also see that some of the plantings have been put back in, so some of the owners of the units are working on that. Still a little bit of fine work that needs to be done. But then on November 9th, uh, everything is really starting to take shape. And uh, it's really, really fun to see it happen. And I got to wake up to a rainbow. Not bad. Okay, rolling on to my re newly redesigned street. You can see the feet strut is pretty much done. We've got maintenance crews sweeping up the excess sand, getting some of the planters set up so that they can plant trees into the space for this housing, pretty de decently dense housing, pretty much all two and three stories. And uh, yeah, it's, it's been a joy to watch this street come together. When we first got here, they had just poured the red asphalt and then they've been working on the sidewalks and uh, the center strip. And uh, yeah, it's been really, really cool to see this process unfold over the last three weeks, really two weeks. There's my shadow. Hi, shadow. Yeah, let's flip it around. Go back into the sun and the wind.
And here we are. You can also see buses come down this route. So it is a little bit wider than some feet struts because it does service bus stop. That right there is the bus stop. Clearly had nobody picking up the bus nor getting off at the stop, so did not need to, uh, to wait. The sweeper here is working in front of my unit, so I'm just gonna hold off. And then the bus stop on this side is right here. And all of these stones, all of these pavers have recently been placed. When I arrived, as you'll recall, it was completely dug up. You can see the garbage, trash, recycling, all right here. Just love how modular everything is. So well thought, thought out, so well done. It's been really fun watching the transformation of the street. And you can see here in this Google Street View snapshot from 2018, it was just a standard Edgeling Road. As you'll recall from earlier footage, this was all blocked off. All of that was torn up. All the sidewalk areas here were torn up. There were no bike racks right there. You can see little areas for planting for them to plant trees in the future. You can see that some of the units have already planted some plants, replanted. Oh, see, they even put some plants in, did some landscaping. Trying to add a little bit of color quickly to the, uh, the street before the uh, dead of winter really sets in. And there's some more bike parking there and here. Again, it doesn't have to be fancy, just real simple utilitarian racks, U-racks, upside down U-racks, whatever their formal name is. There you go, there's some more there, and some more there. The more the better. And here's our fun, low speed, comfortable roundabout where we see edge lane roads and feet struts coming together. Lots of kids are using this space, going to their athletic events. You can see some coming back from field hockey down that way. And back onto our new road, our new street. Freshly painted crosswalk. Areas that still need to be done. There's some sewer work being done in that area along that street. Apparently, major utility work is what prompted uh, this to finally get redone. I believe it was in the works for some time. Planning stages. When you have older neighborhoods you are going to have to change out that infrastructure and again you can see some of the detail the edge bricks the brick pavers for the parking and then the nicely done pavers of the sidewalk and again the bike racks and as we come up here, a couple units down from the apartment where I'm staying, they have planted some stuff. Got families rolling by. And there's some more fresh plants that have been brought in just the last couple days. 
Very cool. Okay, we're here. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this feet strut transformation story from my stay in Delft. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, <laughs> share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, it'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel and sending out a special thank you to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting me out on Patreon, uh, buy me a coffee, the Active Town store, as well as YouTube super thanks. I really do appreciate it. Every little bit adds up. Uh, thank you so much. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.